Hi guys, it is Cornel Steinman from 60secondsbinaryoptions.com. I trade binary options for a living and I only trade high probability setups. Today I'm going to share with you guys a setup, a 60 second setup, what, which I call a one. Now first of all, we look here at the one hour chart and I'm going to show you what, how does a pattern must look to be a A1. So the market came down. First of all, I want to see a bear bar on the, uh, on the bottom side. I want to see a bear bar came all the way down and just before it closed, it retraced and it left a week behind. Then the next bar must be a bull bar without the week. I like that bar to see to go up all the way and close inside the body of that bear bar. Um, and on the left, there must be no there must be no obstruction. So there must be space because I expect this bull bar, the next bull bar, will close anything just above this uh, closing price of a bull bar and um, the opening of that um, bear bar. Right, guys, and this uh, setup must also happen at uh, extreme area. Extreme area is where I get obstruction on a 1 hour or 15 minutes. Now, it, this setup, as long as this setup occurs just before or at or just after that obstruction, I'm happy. It's still an extreme area. Now, if you look at the 1 hour, guys, this is a bar I'm looking at. If you look 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hours back, there was a bull bar were, uh, which came all the way down and closed leaving a week behind. Now that week is, uh, that last lowest point of that week is what I call obstruction. So if this bear bar came at that area, it's a very extreme area. So see that yellow line? is a yellow line you see here. Now all this other stuff I wrote here, don't worry about that. That's a different um, setup I used to try. But I'm not going to talk about that today. We're talking about A1. A1, is a, on the bottom, I'm looking for a bear bar with a wick. The next bar is a bull bar without the wick. Very important. Without the wick. Closing inside the bear bar. And on the left, there is a lot of space or there's no obstruction. This is what we're looking for. Right, guys. Now, let's go to the next one. Now, it's on the top. Again, the price went all the way up. We see a bull bar going all the way up, retracing, close and left a week behind. The next bar uh, for A1, it must be a bear bar without a week going down, closing inside the body of the bull bar. And on the left of that closing, there is no obstruction. So there is space. So what I do is the next bar open, I take a 60 second call and what an easy win. This setup must occur just before or at or just after obstruction on a 1 hour or 15 minutes. Now let's look where is that obstruction. Again guys, don't worry about what I wrote here. That was a different um, strategy. Okay, this is the, the price we're looking at. That, that, that is uh, the 1 hour. Now you can see just on the left, there was also about 2 hours back a, a, a boom bar with a week. And it closed there. So that will be some sort of obstruction. And if you look again left there on the left side, there was another swing high where uh, there was obstruction. So this is the two areas I'm talking about. And so it occurred in an obstruction uh, area on a one hour and 15 minutes. So it's an excellent place to take that trade. If you go to the next one. Now it's at the bottom again. Price going down all the way. At the bottom, I'm looking for a bear bar going down with a little wick. The next one must be a bull bar going up without the wick. And on the left, there must be space. So what I do, I expect is as the next bull bar will open, like that one, I expect it, it will go up, close any side uh, in this bull bar. Um, so and as you see, there, exactly what happened. What I like to show you guys, this one is not the A1. Why? Because that bear bar didn't have a week. Can you see that one have a week? This one didn't have a week. So it's not a, it's not the A1. The bull bar have a week. But remember, A1 say a bull bar must not have a week. This one has a week. If you get a setup like this, this is not A1. Uh, it's a different one. I'll explain that later. 
Here, if you only take a 60 second, you are lost. Um, sometimes you win. So rather don't try it at all. I, if I see a setup like this, I take a two minute. But I will, I will, this is part four. In part four, I'm only talking about A1. This is something different. I'll talk later about that one. If you go to the next one. All right, guys. Again, my price is coming down all the way. I'm looking for a bear bar with a wick. You can see there. So the rules say the next bar must be a bull bar without a wick. And it must close inside the bull bar. Leave and there must be space on the left. So this is a hundred percent A1 definition. So what I do is, as the next price open, I take a 60 second call and I win. And remember, I want to see this setup just before or at or just after um, uh, extreme area. Extreme area is where I see uh, obstruction on a one hour or on a 15 minute. Now let's go to the one hour. Looking at this bar. And now we see one, two, three, four, five, six hours right back. There was a bull bar with a wick, meaning that point of that bull bar is now a obstruction line. This is that blue area. You see, it happened there. And now, also, if you look at the 15 minute chart, you can see almost happened. There was also some obstruction there. So it happened in that area. I'll go to the next one. Okay, price is going up. So on the top, I'm looking for a bull bar. With a week, the second rule say the next bar must be a bear bar without the week, must close inside the body of a bull bar, and on the left there must be space. Because I expect the next bar, it will, when it open, it will close anything in this bull bar um, body, and may, maybe there. And we see it happened there. And this must occur at an extreme area, an area where we expect obstruction on one hour or 15 minutes now if you look at the one hour you see this bar we're looking there and look on the left can you see there was also a bull bar of a week there exactly at that point this is where the market's now and on the left there's also extra obstruction there you can, as you can see there there's an old persistence area which I just marked blue so it's easy for me to can, can remember that we're looking here at high probability trades setups okay let's do another one okay guys market is coming down all the way first rule looking for a bear bar with a week second rule i'm looking for a bull bar without a week and third thing i'm looking on the left there must be space because i expect the next bar will close anything above this price and that price anything above and this must happen at the extreme area meaning there must be some obstruction on a one hour or 15 minutes now guys look at the one hour looking at this bar and we see one two three three four hours back there was also two bars with uh, tails and weeks and you can see that yellow line this is this yellow line so it occurred exactly in this case there and on the 15 minute we're looking at this bar you can see it's an old resistance area it just happened there as well so everything is 100 percent in place and that's why this thing worked out very really nicely Okay, let's do another one okay now the price is going up um, now basically I'm looking for a bull bar with a wick the next bar must be a bear bar without the wick this bar must close inside this bull bar and there must be no obstruction on the left um, and it must happen at the extreme area now first of all but you remember guys this is an extreme indicator I used to try different strategies with it happened there if you look at the 15 minute there is a 130 day moving average it, there's also now obstruction so I have obstruction now two places and look at the one hour you can see there is another obstruction there on the one hour guys and this is a simple rule this is what I call a one um, it must be exactly like this. It has a very, very high probability setup. Um, I look about, I check about 50 trades uh, which I take, and about 40, 44 of them was wins. So it's a very, very high probability. One go, 60 seconds. Thank you.